Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and today we are going to be jumping into another episode of RTHG. If you're unfamiliar with what RTHG is, I'll have the full playlist link down below for you. But it is a weekly episode that I put out talking about some upcoming releases that I am super, super excited for. And today's episode, we are going to be jumping into the thriller category for the month of July. Uh, now, some of these are have changed dates, publishing dates. I had to kind of mix around my list a little bit because the few that I had on my list have either released early or been pushed back, etc. So this list is a little different than I originally had planned, but I found two extras that I'm even more excited about than the ones that were originally on my list. So, I mean, I can't complain. So the first one on our list is a sequel in the thriller category, and that is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. And this is the fourth book, I believe, in this series. I have only just started book one in the series myself. We're reading it for this month's book club, and I am enjoying it so far. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna be really excited to continue the series. So I am very excited for there to be additional books in this series coming out. This one will be coming out on the 28th of July. I didn't look too much into what this one was about. Having only started the first one in the series, I didn't really want to potentially hit any spoilers, but I will tell you a little bit about book one so you can kind of get an idea on what the series is about. So this follows the story of a high school student. Five years earlier, there was a murder at her school and she's put it upon herself to research this murder as part of her end of year school project. However, she ruffles some feathers in trying to investigate this murder and people aren't happy. Everyone else believes that the person that is responsible is behind bars, but Pip, the student investigating, is the only one who feels like this is the wrong person being convicted. And her investigating this crime ruffles a couple feathers and makes some people mad. The second book on this list is The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas, and this one is going to come out on July 13th. Over here in Australia, I believe it is coming out a bit sooner than that over in America and other countries, maybe the UK, but as always, Australia is the last to receive it. It's being kind of sold as a get out kind of story and it is a YA horror, which I am yet to read. I've started getting into the YA genre recently and really enjoying it, but I am yet to read a YA horror. So this one definitely sounds right up my alley. I love a good thriller, I love a good horror and it'll be interesting to read one that is YA instead of an adult one. And it follows the story of Jake Livingston. Now he is one of the only black students in his very, very high property school and he has the ability to see ghosts. And he one day sees a ghost of a student that went on a killing rampage a couple schools over, murdered a bunch of students, and then killed himself. And now he's come back with a bit of a vengeance, and it is a vengeance that includes Jake. So now there's this huge fight for survival, and I just need to read it. I've seen so many people reviewing this that have review copies, and I'm so jealous. I have serious FOMO right now. Our next one is coming out on July 6th, and that is Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constantine. And this one is one of the more new ones that I had to add to the list considering the other ones had already been published or pushed back to August that I had on this list. And this one is giving me serious spooky vibes. I love a good book that follows like an amnesia kind of storyline and this is exactly what this does. So the main character in this book is about to get married but she feels like it might be the wrong decision considering about Five years ago, she was found on the side of the road, covered in her own blood after an accident. And now she has zero memory of who she is or where she came from. And then it also has like a parallel where there is a man whose wife has left him. And we don't know if this is the same woman, but it's kind of implied. And then their stories kind of like interwove together. And I just feel like it's going to be the kind of thriller that I really enjoy. So I am excited for this one and I'm glad that I managed to find it and add it to this list. This last one comes out on July 27th. However, I am seeing some places written where it is not coming out until August 3rd in Australia, but I couldn't really d distinguish between the two. So I'm putting it on my July list. And that is Not A Happy Family by Shari Lapina. And this follows the story of a family where the night after a huge Easter party, the parents are murdered. 
and the big plot line, the big question is, was it an outsider or was it someone closer to home? Because the children are destined to inherit millions of dollars following their death. So I just feel like it's going to be one of those really cool like family thrillers that drag you right in and it's like who done it kind of situation. So I'm excited. So those are the July thrillers that I am super, super excited for that are coming out in the year of 2021. Let me know in the comments down below if any of them are on your want to read list or if I've missed any that are on, not on this list that you think I should check out. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and happy reading.